Hey guys, um, today is Thursday, February 1st, um, and I just wanted to, um, I've gotten a lot of DMs, emails, everything on asking basically how I got myself started on this and what worked for me, what didn't work for me, um, how I got myself out of rock bottom, and a lot of these emails or messages are people in panic mode. And I completely, completely, 100% understand that. Um, so I figured, and I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks on how to, to do this. And because, and so I have notes. No, I'm not scripted. I have notes with bullet points on kind of how things went. So um, I just want to put this in the front that all things are difficult before they are easy. So this is not for the for the week. Okay, what I'm about to tell you to do is not going to be easy and it's going to be hard. But at the end, it's going to get easier and it's going to get easier and it's going to get easier. Um, am I perfect? <laughs> no, not at all. Um... Do we still make mistakes? Absolutely, I do. Um, I'm supposed to be trying to save right now on my emergency fund, and I haven't been able to save like a dime. Um, but I'm not behind on anything. And so I do take that for myself as a win. Um, but I, now I know I have to tweak some things. But we are starting here at the very, very, very... Oh my God, panic mode. I'm about to get evicted. My lights are shut off or getting shut off. You know, I don't have water. I don't have, you know, that kind of thing. Okay? So, I have collection calls every 10 minutes. You know, you know, property management knocking on your door. You know, that kind of starting off. Um, so, this is basically what I want you to do. I want you to stop completely stop what you're doing stopping your tracks stop because you're starting to go into panic overdrive okay and that's not gonna help a damn thing um, honestly what do you want my camera oh hi what do you need Christopher just came in here asked me who I was talking to sorry guys so we're gonna get back into this stop for a second don't do a thing nothing just stop go depending on the time of day it is go calm yourself okay go take a hot shower meditate get yourself a glass of wine get you know if you, get a beer whatever okay whatever calms you go do it because if you have it go do it don't go buy it mm -mm -mm. let me let me make that clear Okay, secondly, before you start on anything, as you can see, I get interrupted all the time. So if you have small kids, little kids that, you know, obviously need your full attention at all times, see if you can get like a grandma or a swap babysitting with a friend or something. See if they'll take your child just for a couple of hours so you can be completely devoted to what you're doing right now. Middle-aged kids, not quite teenagers. If you don't like to let them watch TV or use the computer or use the iPad, let them use it for the next couple of hours. They aren't going to die you just have to tell them it's very important that they don't interrupt you because you cannot get unfocused. Okay? That is important. Um, because once you get unfocused, panic mode will set back in and you don't want that. Um, so whatever you can, do whatever you can. Teenagers, you can just tell them to leave you the hell alone. <laughs> Go away. Um, and you know, and you can honestly sit down with your teenagers because they need to learn it because they don't teach it in school at all is, you know, that what you're doing, tell them why you're doing it and that you'll sit down with them when you're done and explain it. Usually 
they don't want to be around you anyway. So they'll just go. Mine are like leeches for some reason and they always follow me. But <laughs> that's, that's a whole other video. Okay, so now I want you to get a notebook and a piece of paper, or a notebook and a piece of paper. Notebook and a pencil or an erasable pen, but a pencil. Something you can erase. That is very important. Um, and I want you to sit down with your spouse if you if you can, me, it's not that easy to do. He's not interested. He sidetracks me. He just, I'll do it myself. This is one of the things that I just do it myself. Um, and if that's how it is, then that's how it is. You know, some people can have budget meetings. We can't. We try. I do try. I, I bring it up to him. I tell him what I've done, basically. This is what we're doing. Boom. Done. You know, and I ask him if there's anything he needs. But, um, okay. So the next thing is, well, actually, you should do this with the Get in the Notebook. Get out every bill you have. So if you have to pull it up on your phone, if you have paper bills, whatever, make sure you have every bill you have. You're going to write down what you have, everything. If you have subscription boxes, if you, gym memberships, you know, iTunes, anything, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, things that can come out of your account every month that you don't pay most attention to, I want you to write everything down on your notebook. Then go through and find the due dates. Um... And in this whole writing down of everything that comes out of your accounts, you also have your rent or your mortgage, your electric, your gas if you have gas, water, trash, phone bills, cable, that kind of stuff. You want to write all that down plus everything else a month. Your car, all of it. You can write it down. Credit cards, student loans, write it down. Then go back in. I'm sorry, I kind of skipped a step. Then go back in and find the due dates. Um, go through your bank and find out what you've paid because you probably won't remember something that you've done. There are still days I'm like, what? Xbox Live or Xbox Gold or whatever it is. I have pl I don't know what it is. That's hit me because my kids will get, oh, we can get it this month for a dollar. You got to put your credit card in. It's usually 10, so I'll let them get it for the month for the dollar. And then the next month, I'm like, why did my checking account just go down $10 or $11? Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't take your debit card out. No, no, it's not really their responsibility. It's yours because you let them use your debit card. So write it down when they got it, when it is expiring. Put it in your calendar for three days before and get rid of it. Like, stop it. Um... Okay, so now that you're looking at everything written down, I want you to go through that list again and what can you live without. You don't need the Bark Box. You don't need HelloFresh. You don't need the subscription boxes that you get. Um, I went through this with my best friend. She had subscription boxes to Shakeology. She had four unopened cases and this was like a hundred and something dollars a month. I was like, dude, cancel that crap. Uh-uh. You don't need it. It's not that it's crap. It's good for you. Don't get me wrong. But you don't need it right now. You can't afford it. Period. It's just not. So anything. Cross them off. Call them right then and there. Go on their website. Do whatever it is you have to do and cancel them. You don't even have a choice. Like do it right now. Right now. Done. You don't need them. Um, if you have a gym membership and you haven't gone and you don't go, you don't need it. If you do go, I'm, I'm one on health, but right now you don't need it. Look for a cheaper alternative. If you feel like you have to go, go outside and walk. Um, there are lots of things you can do without having to pay for a gym right now. Not saying don't add it back in. You don't need that personal trainer right now. If you can't pay your rent, you don't need to be paying the personal trainer's rent. 
you need to, they got to go, period, done. Um, okay, so now, now you have to call everybody. If you're okay on your rent, don't worry about that. But you have to call electric because, you know, all your household utilities. I hate to say this, but ask, go, you have to ask what you owe, what's the minimum you can pay to avoid being shut off, and if you can pay it on your next payday. If it's your rent, and today is the first, and you don't have it, you need to call your landlord and basically beg for mercy. Um, I do know in Florida, at least, we call it human services. Different counties are different things, but you can go once a year and they'll give you like $500 for your rent to help and they'll give they'll pay your electric bill. You do have to have like a three day pay or quit on your rent thing and electric bill, they just need the bill, the past due bill, and they'll pay the whole darn thing. Um, I think that's once a year. I do not know. Um, so, I mean, if you have to, you have to. Um, they do want income and all that, but if you have to, you have to. Um, call your landlord. Whatever it is you need to do, you need to just do it. Um, where I used to live and here, they don't file evictions until the 15th at night or 16th, like first in the morning. Like they'll give you, they say end of business on the 15th, but if you have the money order in there on the 16th, when they first get in there, they're not gonna, they, they didn't do it. Um, you have fees, but you know, do what you have to do this month. This month is gonna suck. This month is tight. It doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna have to figure out due dates, what can be paid where, you need to call people, do what you can do. Um, and I hate to say use like the state help on your rent and your electric, especially if you've blown your money and you normally would make enough to pay these things. Those, those to me are for help when you just like, you, you know, you can't, but they're there. So use it because you have to save yourself right now. So, um, And let me tell you, if you if you have the money to pay to get out of an eviction, but you're not going to have it till the 20th, in Florida, they add $450 to what you owe. So it's not even funny to play with it. You just need to do it. Um, I've never gotten that far, but I've been close. Um, now, you have to take your paychecks, whether you get paid weekly, whether you get paid monthly, and you need to, or weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-monthly, however you get paid. And you need to write it down. You need to go by due dates. And you need to go, okay, I can pay this here. I can pay this here. I can pay this here. I can pay half of this here. So if you call Verizon, say, I can give you $110 on the third. And I can give you another $110 on whatever date. I'm just not even looking at a calendar. We'll say the 15th. Um... Nine times out of ten, Verizon will take it. Um, so there you go. That's half of the bill cut. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to work the system for this month. But you're going to notice you feel like you have more money to play with because you don't have the subscriptions coming out. You don't have this. You don't have that. Um, if you have cable, I'm not going to say get rid of your internet. Because either way, people tell me this, they've told me this a lot. You know, get rid of cable, internet, whatever, use your data. Data is expensive. And get on the slowest internet plan possible. If you work from home and you need a phone line and you need a faster internet, that's your job. It is what it is. You need to make money, you need, so whatever. Um, but... You know, do what you can. If you have Netflix and Hulu and cable TV, something's got to go. So you need to decide what you watch more. If you're watching Netflix and Hulu more, cut the TV out. Gone. 
cut your bill down. It might not help this month, but it's going to help next month. So cut that down. Um, ask them if they've got any promotions, deals. Can they put you in another package that's cheaper? Something. Tell them you're having a hard time paying it. And, you know, they don't want to lose you as a customer. I used to work for a cable company. They don't want to lose you as a customer. They will do what they have to do or what they can to retain your business. So you won't get something for nothing. But they, you can do what you can do. And don't get nasty with the person on the other line just because you're stressed. I will tell you this from being somebody that answers phone calls and has done the cable company thing. They won't do it for you if you're a jerk. Simple. You can threaten, you can holler, you can scream, you can get nasty, you can say I'm canceling you, whatever. If you're if you're nice as pie, they will look hard and they will dig and they will see what they can do for you. So, and just remember that other person's doing their job. They are not the cable company. They are just doing their job. They are not at fault. Um, more than likely, you're at fault for overextending your budget. Okay. Now... The next thing is this month and probably next month only pay your four walls. That is it. Um, that's it. Nothing. My exceptions to that are um, if you got a drive uh, a ticket driving, pay that because you're going to end up paying a lot more than just the ticket. Um, if you have a toll violation. Um, and it happens. There's tolls all over Florida. I've flown through them going, oh, sh I should have went that way. Independent, you know. I get the toll thing in the mail. $3. Oops, I buzz through it. You know, I, if I pay it within seven days, it's the toll. If I wait, it's longer. And wait, it's longer. My best friend, who I know is going to probably watch this video, she works during the day, business days, you know, 8 to 5. She asked me to call and dispute a toll for her violation that she had and they're like oh she wants to go to court now I know my best friend she ain't going to court she was like no so her I think it was like eight dollars in tolls that she didn't pay or she got busted on ended up being eighty five dollars okay is what it is but so those I suggest pay as media as possible when I say pay your four walls, that is your rent, electric, gas, um, cable and internet. If you can live without them, pay that last. But, you know, cable and internet, that kind of thing. Trash, garbage, HOA fees, things like that, pay. Um, don't forget your household items like your toilet paper, your pet food, a lot of people seem to forget their pets, so your pet food, um, stuff like that. Because that's like an, oh my god, I didn't budget in and I now have to go buy a $20 bag of dog food. That's very stressful. Um, it's stressful for me now. Chloe comes up to me, I need guinea pig bedding. She'll tell me the night before I get paid and I don't have it budgeted in. I get so irritated. It's like, tell me, tell me you're running low something, but okay. So you've now probably given yourself a raise because I can bet you you've had Netflix, Hulu, and cable TV. So something's gone. I'm pretty sure you've had at least one subscription to something that's got to go. Um, you're not buying, unless you've paid for the year, you're not buying anything from Amazon Prime for the le next two months. Take your credit card out of there. Don't pay for that. Um, that kind of thing. So you're going to have more money than you expect to have. And pay nothing. So this video is going to be long. And I can see it. It's at 19 minutes already. Um, now, I want you to, like I was saying, break your bills down by paychecks. I don't really show this, but I break my bills down by paychecks. This is February 2nd. This is February 9th. This is February 16th. And this is February 23rd. And I do this here. Don't go buy a planner right now. You can't afford it. Every time I've done this, I've already had one because I've already spent the money. If you don't have one, the notebook will be fine. If you don't have a notebook and you have to go buy one, go to Dollar Tree and get their calendar planner. It, it, it's perfect. It will do. You know, get some notebook 
pages, you know, whatever you need to do, but break that down. Um, now, um, next thing you got to do is you're not going to get much, much rest this month. You have got to side hustle like a boss. Okay. Um, if you have a very good running car, your booty's going out there and doing Uber or Lyft. Do it during the day if you're afraid. It's mostly people going to work, coming home from work, going to the store, coming home from the store, whatever. School, that's it. Um, WAG is a new one, actually. Somebody I've talked to on the phone as a customer when I was helping fix their items. Um, she kept getting text messages coming in. You can go walk this dog and blah, blah, blah. And I just happened to ask her because I could see it on her screen. And she was like, oh, this is great. She goes, I get my exercise. And she goes, I go walk people's dogs for two miles a day. And she gets paid. One, what's more relaxing than walking a dog? If you don't have one, fine. If you do have one, it ain't going to hurt you to go walk somebody else's. Um, they're going to pay you. You know, don't, you know, you can take pets from there overnight if you want. You can pet sit. You get paid. It's an app. Go look at it. I will, if I can link it down below, but it's definitely in the Google Play Store and the App Store. It's called WAG, W-A-G. Um, Dawn from Simple, Sensible Living with Money Mom, she's been scheduling mystery shopping for years. She said something to me about it. Um. I was like, when I get a car, I'm probably going to take her up on that. So that's, you know, I don't know how it works, but she's been doing it for so long and she makes a living off of it. I would trust her to get us, get me to the right places where I'm not getting a scam, I guess. Um, do I know her personally? No. Do I know her through YouTube? Have I chit chatted a little bit with her? Yes, I have. Um, so definitely, definitely. Um, surveys, do some surveys. I always keep my husband's Insta GC link down below. You can get gift cards for sites by commit doing surveys. Um, if you get up to $50 for the first time, you can get PayPal out. You can like cash it out to PayPal. After that, he cashes out two bucks sometimes. You know, you can do whatever you want. We've gotten gift cards for Christmases, birthdays, um, I paid Easter off with it a couple years ago, and I think this is before I even did Broken Over. I have a video of that way down below when my kids were so little. Oh, but, um, yeah, so the next thing I want you to do is, I've already said cancel subscriptions, but I want you to delete any shopping apps off of your phone. Unsubscribe from email, shopping, newsletters. Nothing is a deal for you right now. You don't need it. Okay, you just don't simple. Um, if it is an absolute need and not a want, Walmart probably has it. Okay. It will do until you're in a better place. Um, there is one subscription that I'm not going to say cancel, and this can be for Google. This can be for Apple. It doesn't matter. Whatever you use for cloud storage. The reason I'm saying that is I at least know I have like thousands and thousands of pictures stored in the cloud. If I were to lose them, I don't have them anywhere else right now. I know, shame on me. But, you know, I know for Apple, for 50 gig of extra storage, it's 99 cents a month. Go out and buy yourself a $15 gift card, throw it in iTunes, that way you don't see that 99 cents coming out of your zero-based budget every month, and it's gone. Just mark a note on your calendar, on your paper, Forever that it's going to be due soon um, or in a year. Okay, so next thing I have is you're, you're not eating out. I do not care. This is, it's not happening. I don't care how cool of a toy the Happy Meal has that your kid has to have. Your kid doesn't need it right now. Your kid's not going to die. He might die for like, or she might die for like 10 minutes. They'll get over it. Um, if you're busy, this is where you meal plan and you meal prep. You've seen my budget vid my videos of meal prepping with the sandwiches. It will take you some time to do that. But if you have to pick up a kid to go from this job to drop to the babysitter to grab from here, from grab from there, I'm pretty sure you have a plastic bag in your house 
I'm pretty sure. If not a little cooler bag, if not of something, pack food for the car. If you're going to work, you're not going out with your friends. Um, you know, I mean, you can go with them, but you're going to be taking your own. I can guarantee you a sub you make from home will be cheaper and taste better than Subway. It'll be what you want exactly on it, done. You can buy a $2.50 big bag of chips and you can portion that out into little, little baggies and take that with you. That $2.50 bag of chips will probably get you, um, I can't think off the top of my head, but you usually get one to one and a half ounces in like a marked Fritos bag, we'll say. So if that's like a 16... I don't have one here, but if it's like a 16 ounce bag for $2 and 50 cents and you market it into 16 ounce little bags for a serving, well, you just, in it, I'm trying, I can't get my words out. You go buy the big thing of like the lunch bags for what? Three, four 99. You've just saved yourself a dollar 50. You've portioned them out yourself. You know, there's little things you can do. You're going to, to decrease that grocery budget, to decrease what's going out in that month. Um, I do not suggest, and this is just from owning pets and raising pets all of my life. I've raised dogs, Rottweiler, Sherman Shepherds, you name it. My dad raised it. Horses. Don't change your dog's dog food. Um, that's not really recommended, but if you really have to, you can, but I wouldn't change your dog's dog food. Um, but, you know, look at ways to cut things back. You know, your sandwich that you've made, plus your chips, plus the drink you bring from home, even if it's a bottle of water, something else is probably going to cost you out of pocket a couple dollars, where lunch at Subway is easily going to cost you $5.99, if not more. And that's a six-inch sub with a drink, because you're going to buy a drink. Even if you say you're not going to buy a drink, you're going to buy a drink. McDonald's the same way. You can go off the dollar menu, but you're going to be hungry an hour later, and there's a vending machine over there. So, yep. Okay, so once you get your four walls where, bam, I can pay my rent on time, I'm pretty close to within a day or two of paying my cable, you know, electric, so much. And when I mean a day or two, I mean a day or two of the due date, not a day or two of, ooh, I'm going to get cut off. Um, because they might be due on a Wednesday, you don't get paid till a Friday, that kind of thing. Um, then you'll be good. That's when I would say now you got to start incorporating your minimum payments on your credit cards, your student loans, um, and basically other bills you have to pay. And that's when you need to call them again and be like, okay, I know I told you I couldn't pay you for two months. I'm ready to start paying you. What can I get on as a minimum payment for right now? And that's where you go. And that's what you do. Now, um, they will work with you because they want your money. Um, if they put you into collections, I, I hate to say this and this sounds horrible, then they put you into collections. You can call whoever it is you need to call. There are so many different student loan companies that will take you out of collections. That'll fix it. Same things with credit cards. They just want your money. Um, so keep working it. You will, it, trust me, the system works. But the last thing that I'm going to say is most people, not all, most people are getting a tax return at the end of February. Um, this tax return, depending on how many kids, what you've paid in, what your whatever is, is going to be a, a decent chunk of change. Um, that chunk of change does not mean you're a baller. Mm -mm -mm. You don't have money. You can't go buy that 50 inch TV. Just last month you couldn't pay your bills. So what you need to do now is get completely current on everything. And it's going to hurt. It hurts. Trust me. My husband and I sat down about the tax return. I want to buy a car. You know, that we've been saying, oh, taxes will get, oh, taxes will get, oh, taxes will get. Well, if I want to buy a car, we ain't getting jack. Simple. There's just a couple things that, 
oh well, it's not happening, but I need a car badly. I haven't had a car for over a year now. I'm over it. So, um, pay what you have to pay. Get yourself current. Pay ahead. You know, and then go from there. You know, if you have paid ahead and you have your emergency fund sitting there, then and only then can you maybe find a deal on a TV. Until then, I personally would say go pay off a credit card or two. Um, I don't have credit cards right now, so. But if it were me, I I wouldn't want that recurring payment every month. I'd want to start saving money. So if you have your emergency fund paid, you've paid off a credit card, you've done that, you know, you can roll your snowball. There's taxes next year. It comes around every year, either whether you have to pay or whether you get money back. Um, so that's pretty much my tips. It's basically write it down, four walls first, except for the IRS, you know, toll violations or tickets. Break payments down by paycheck, not by month. Do some side hustles. Um, cancel subscriptions. Delete shopping apps off your phone. Um, you're not going out on a date with your significant other. Um, you're not getting lunch out. You need to meal plan and meal prep. You need to sell things. And that's what you need to do. Um, kind of harsh. Kind of sucks. You have no dollars. You're oh, and you're not paying yourself either. You have no money whatsoever. Um, there's different ways to go around things. Um, you know, and that could be another video as far as like games and things. Like my kids like games. There's GameStop. I didn't buy them any games. They got a couple for Christmas, but um, if they want a new game. They've got to go to GameStop and trade in some games to get that game, which is no money out of my pocket. They only will get games that they've earned, worked for, or whatever. I'm not going to drop $60 on a game just because. So, not going to happen. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Again, you have to calm yourself. Don't panic. Um... Get a notebook, write out due dates, your four walls are first, you know, pay, break down your, I just said this, I know, break down your payments by paycheck, not by month. And I will tell you why this helped me. When I did it by month, I was like, oh, I've got $500 left. No, because when I did it by week, I maybe had 10. So that's kind of how that works. You're not eating out, you're meal planning and real meal prepping. And that's kind of how that is. And that's what's happening. So do not count on your tax return, especially if you get earned income credit or child tax credit. Do not count on your tax return until before the 27th or the 28th of February is when they're going to start releasing those. Doesn't mean you're not approved. That just by law is when they can release them. I do know this for 100%. That it's on the IRS website. But yes, so... That is what I did. I hope I was clear and I really hope that I wasn't um, all over the place. I tried to keep myself going with a list, um, but you get the gist. If you've made it this far in the video, I will try to link in the little thingy that comes right here. I will try, or here, or wherever it goes, I will try to link my very first video when I was having panic attack. And then um, I think it's my first one or two videos where I kind of lost it um yeah there was my very first video and then there was a um a Sunday video where I kind of like I'll have to find them but I'll, I'll show you and that way you can see especially if you're new here you can see progressively how it's gotten better um I mean I even had my kids doing a lemonade stand I took I bought the lemonade I took all their money however I have given them money to go spend since. So, um, but yeah, they've given me anything, everything. I took everything. <laughs> we all have to live here. We all had to survive and that's how it goes. Um, but keep a running list of what you take from your kids because again, you're getting this tax return right now. And if you have to take from them now, pay them back. Um, that's kind of an important one. Um, 
So, um, even if you pay them back half, give them something. Thanks for helping mommy and daddy out. When you did, I want to give you this money so you have this money, etc. Um, it's not their fault, but you need to pay off debt right now. So, you know, and that's for their benefit and yours. You know, they don't want to live without lights, gas, water. So do that or a roof for that matter or stressed out parents. So I'm going to stop rambling. This video is at 35 minutes long. If you've made it this long, I thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.